on with? How you doing? I'm great. How I'm are really, you? Really, really good. Yeah, thank you. Thank All right, you. settle down there, fellas. Thank you. <laughs> he loved me like 10 minutes ago. Oh. And then, <laughs> then you come out and like, Conan who? I did my foot turn you on, my naked foot? Just be honest. <laughs> yes, Conan. You've answered foot. the question cause I, cause for me. Because all I do is imagine what goes up from that foot, <laughs> which might look similar, yeah. and, and it makes yeah. me really want to take you to a spa. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I need a spa, don't yeah. I? Yes, I need a I spa. Do. I don't yeah. go to spas. I don't like the terry cloth robes and the no, oils you, you and the no, scents. No, Stacey, you don't need that. See, um, if you come to L.A., I mm -hmm. really want you, if you ever come to L.A., I okay. want to take you to um, a, some spas in Koreatown and have, like, a fat Korean woman just scrub you down. It's none of this fancy schmancy stuff. You just, you just. Oh. Wow, it sounds so tempting. <laughs> a fat Korean woman will scrape. What is she scraping all over my body? Um, she basically uh, like takes. I don't know if any of you guys have ever done this. It's great. It's fantastic. Really, I recommend yeah, it. Yeah. Basically, takes kind of like a, like a Brillo pad, and it just oh, scrapes great. you down. And but it's it's really good for your. So it's sort of masochistic. It's sort of what they use to get. Grease and grime off a pot uh -huh. is, yes. is dragged yes. over your skin by a very powerful woman. Yes. Wow. Yes. Doesn't that take my my flesh would just come off? It I would might. just I'd come out like a skeleton. Wow, that was very really nice. I'm glad I did well, that. I, I think that'd be nice because I just actually want to see how much comes off of you. <laughs> that sounds gross. I'm moving on. <laughs> Uh, thanks very much for being here, oh, first of all. So and welcome. congratulations, uh, Grey's Anatomy. This thing's a huge hit. You gotta be yeah. excited about that. Yeah. Be... Thank you. I've always thought, and I guess in preparation for the role mm -hmm. of, 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 of playing uh, you know, a medical professional, mm -hmm. you decided to sit through some surgery, some real surgery. Oh, yes. Is yes. that true? Yes, it's fantastic. Uh, we had uh, so much research and, and so much help from a, a lot of the local hospitals. So that you could feel that you mm -hmm. really understood what was mm -hmm. going on. So what mm -hmm. kind of procedure did you, did you sit in? I sat in on, on a, a heart replacement valve surgery, a valve replacement. So yeah. you were there in I the... I was there. So it's, it's fantastic. One, the woman was, you know, she was very generous to let myself, Catherine Heigl, and actually two design students. They were a design engineer. Right. Uh, guys and who were observing. And uh, you're literally this far away from her head. Right. Yeah, from the entire field of so surgery. So you got the permission first, because mm -hmm. you don't want the woman coming out of surgery, and this is your doctor, and this is the actor. Who, oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> yes. you know. We just wanted to look at your insides. No, no. She yeah. gave us a, a permission, and we went in, and it's just... I was very, very nervous. Of course, you're going to be sure. nervous, and you don't yeah. know what it is, and all those you know, medical surgery shows yes. and all that yeah. stuff, you think it's going to be really, really gross. And I was kind of queasy you know, before, Right. so I was wondering, oh, am I going to throw up? Am I going to faint? Right. But I gotta tell you, man, it was just what a rush. I really get, I really get it. Because you have life really in front of you. And right. like when, you know, you have to open up the, the chest with the saw and yeah. stuff. And I, you just think that you're gonna be grossed out, but at least I wasn't. Yeah, you don't wanna go too far the other way and be like, yeah! No, no, you know? No, no but, but, but what you, Woo! what you, 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 Give sure. you, it really gives you a rush. It, right. It, it, at that point, you're not thinking about whether you're feeling queasy or not. It's it, extremely exciting. Do you always uh, do this for roles? If you're playing a part, you you try and go and study people that actually yeah, do that I'd job? Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to whenever I can. You know, uh, there are various projects that I've done that you know you you really get a uh, get into their world. Sure, you know? sure. Like what, what what was another example of a time that you you studied something before you you portrayed that role? Uh, <laughs> various things. Uh, let's see, like, uh, right now, I, you know, with this play I'm doing called mm -hmm. Satellites, it's mm -hmm. about, you know, a, a woman who is newly married and has a baby, although that has not happened to me. Right, right. Um, basically, I'm doing a, a portrayal of my sister mm -hmm. and uh, my best friend all combined. So it's right, like spending right. time with them. Or like, you know, when I've, I've, you know, had to be pregnant in a lot of things where you spend time with your friends who are pregnant. And mm -hmm, mm -hmm. also other things like, you know, I've played a variety of characters, mm -hmm, and mm -hmm. one, one really actually great experience was this film called Dancing at the Blue Iguana, mm -hmm. and that happened to be about um, these five strippers in L.A. Mm -hmm. So I'm like from a pretty conservative background. I had never ever been in a strip club before the day of the audition. Me either, yeah. to this day. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. I saw that. No, no, no. Um, no, no. But uh, but with that uh, that process, we did a uh, which with the film was improvised. We spent all this time in strip clubs, and mm -hmm. and we that's how we learned how to dance and really. Did you get up on stage then in front of people? I gotta you... tell you, man, there's so many 
so many clubs in LA that I've danced that no one has, no one's known. Yeah. Right, right. Yeah, because usually think, I mean, we kind of went there like before it would open, sure. so it would like be very, very slow, and sure. you know, no one would really. Was know it? Li I mean, it must be in some way liberating, you know, to do something like that. Oh, I think so. Like yeah. actually, Sheila Kelly, who was a, 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 a one of the cast members, she's kind of made this empire right. of teaching women how to pole dance. Sure. And I, I, I got to tell you, for all the women out there, I really, really highly recommend it because it is extremely. I do too. I highly recommend. <laughs> no, and of course there are a lot of guys that are out there because it's like, you know, if, yeah, if, yeah, if you, because yeah. it's, it's also beneficial to you if you know your partner is learning to liberate herself sexually. I think it's good for everyone if women are pole dancing. Yes, constantly. I, I, yes. <laughs> but, but through their own means. Through their you know? own means, yeah. yes.